a campaign to raise awareness about railroad safety taking place all around the country this week. Mm -hmm. Comes after a deadly crash involving a train and a vehicle on Friday. The crash in Terre Haute claimed the life of 81-year-old Kenneth Hopthall. Safety advocates are hoping the national campaign underway this week prevents railroad tragedies like that. Will Price joins us now with details. Will. Yeah, Dana, both Indiana and Illinois were in the top five in train collisions and deaths in 2021. Those numbers help underscore the reasons officials are using this week to educate people on the danger of railroads. When the lights begin to flash and the stop arm comes down, it's time to clear the tracks. That's the message Operation Lifesaver has been working to spread across the country for decades. The nonprofit organization helped establish Rail Safety Week. And Jessica Fetter, the executive director for the organization in Indiana, so they're making a big push to help educate residents throughout the state. It's an important initiative for us um, because Indiana is ranked in the top five states every year for rail crossing collisions. We have a lot of highway traffic and we also have a lot of rail traffic and those two together obviously result in collisions a lot of times. So it's important for us to get that message out there so that we can keep Hoosiers safe. Battalion Chief for the Terre Haute Fire Department, Scott Dalton, has seen the issue firsthand. He says because of the speed trains travel and how hard it is for them to stop, train safety is an important issue in the area. Whenever we think of collisions that involve trains, that is a significant mechanism of injury. And if we look at not only the mortality rate, but the morbidity, it is um, very high because of the amount of energy that's involved. Fetter says the problem includes not just vehicles, but pedestrians too. She says they are working to inform everyone of the dangers technology can present. It's about keeping people safe. That's our number one priority. And we just want to make sure as we're seeing, um, you know, more distracted driving, more, more people walking up and down the tracks with noise canceling headphones on, things like that, that we are really getting that message out there because people don't realize that it's so dangerous and that, you know, it's not worth the risk. And there have been numbers that have shown the campaign has been working over time. Fetter said when Operation Lifesaver started in Indiana back in 1983, there were about 420 train collisions that year. And last year, the number was less than half that at about 120. Mike? All right, thanks a lot, Will.